And this is a pre-recorded warning. This game contains scenes which may disturb you. It will be full of strange furry shit and fetishes such as transformation. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, have a welcome back to Change, where Kenora left off of uh, meeting Pearl. That's right. There's one the one thing though. Someone, uh, my uh, was it? I, I guess you could say White Wolf, a subscriber on my Discord. Oh, that's gonna be problematic. Subscriber on my Discord told me about a nice, interesting. Uh, there's way too many of these fuckers. I'm gonna get surrounded. That there's a secret transformation that I should be aware about where the bird is. So I want to get it. Yeah, so let's just go make our way back to the bird area. Alright, so apparently what we're meant to do is push this to the left side the fork. I mean, something should happen. Something should happen. Oh! This time, you see something different on the balcony. A... the whole body is filled with reflective light feline creature. I... He wheeled a box in anger. The one you just pushed out. You suddenly understand why those boxes will return to the throne. What should you do? Slide through? The leopard noticed you immediately, and then the angry claw caught you. You're stuck on the railing by him? Okay, that's that's completely lewd. What are you, what are you doing? You try to struggle, but the leopard behind you has pressed you there, unable to move. I don't consent. This is rape. Some sticky... Okay, this is... Steph, this is definitely wrong. It's a little cool, and the few gentle feelings on your neck you look around except for your strong... Tr strong trousers! I'm glad they're strong trousers. Then there's a thick material between my ass and that thing's likely dick. If if these things even have dicks, I don't even know if they do or not. Really, I mean they're gelled. I don't I don't know if like scientifically by the canon of the story that they have anything. Like do, do slime creatures even have genitals? I don't even know. Uh, there's nothing useful. That you push the leopard hard, but it's useless. And uh, okay, you're back. You're back is unconscious. That makes no sense. The cold feeling disappeared, replaced by warmth and comfort. Your back is covered with latex. These things are gradually absorbed and you enter, and enter your blood. You feel your bones creaking. You know you are turning into other things, but this feeling is very comfortable. It goes back to my first line. It's not rape if it's comfortable, apparently. It's, it's, it's comfortable, it's okay. Your legs are soft. The latex cover your neck and face as they were living. They climb in your mouth. No. Oh. It's like fucking, what, like sentient sperm and just goes in your mouth? Jesus. And nose! Strange that you didn't feel any bad sen sensation? The leopard spreads the latex from his arms to your arm. Your fingertips grow out of meatballs. Wait, what? Your fingertips grow out of meatballs. I'm broken. You need to put the. You can put in the Nico, Nico .exe stop working. Fucking what? And become animal meat pet meat mats. Your fingertips grow out of meatballs. How does that make any sense? Are you like saying my my fingers are meatballs? It mean your fingers be more comparable to chicken tendies or chicken fingers, if anything. Come on, not meatballs. Your tail is so crisp. Crisp? Is this supposed to be fluffy? Not not like a not like a potato wedge just out of the deep fryer. It's crispy. That it is actually latex tail growing out from it. Potato wedge. I love potatoes. <laughs> you give up? It's better to put put it. It's better to put it in his arms. You're wrapped up by the whole thing, but it seems not. The mucus outside is as natural as the skin you originally had. It's wonderful, but you can hear more and more sounds now. Your arms and legs seem to be stronger. I guess that's a plus side. The consciousness became blurred. It's better than your legs becoming dull and, you know, sore. Unable to sit down afterwards or something. The consciousness became blurred. You know who you are, you know what you want to do, but it's impossible to resist such feelings, wild feelings, and wonderful feelings. 
You're happy even if you're sticky. I'm not into that. Is it because of the effects of latex or is it really wonderful? His heart shapes in his eyes. You open your eyes like a baby or covered with fresh latex. I turned into a slut. Okay. I turned into a cat slut, a leopard slut. You look at the leopard again. He's doing, he's doting on his new kind. Yeah, no, no, I don't, no. You're not doting in your new, it's, no. I don't like it. It upsets my Sargal pride. Thank you very much. But with that done, it's very obscure indeed. And I'm glad that's over with. Let's get to Pearl. The best of boys. The best doggo. We will skip his chat, though, a little bit. So there's one thing, though. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be people being like, You burped! Unsubscribed! <laughs> it's like an ongoing joke. I apologize if, it's, um, if I'm getting out of hand with that. But... Uh, I, I am drinking my soda, that is my excuse. I got myself a slush mug, slush, a slush mug, I, and I'm keeping myself cool. But, um, wait, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was told, in order to get the true ending, there's one thing I should keep in mind if I'm going to be saving here. Um, is that apparently I have to completely, if I want the true ending, is a true ending a bad ending? Bad ending is easy to get. The true ending can, I, I'm hard to, uh, is, let's say is a stickler? It's very hard to get. And you have to basically, like, appease him with everything. If he asks you to sit, if he asks for a compliment, or something like I'm supposed to thank him and sit by him every time he asks for it. If I don't, I'm fucked, basically. With that in mind, I'd rather get the true ending first. So, I will do whatever it takes to appease, uh, Husbando, as everyone's calling him. Without these books, I probably would be the same as those outside. We have a common feeling of black latex. I can feel it when you step on the latex drop from my body. So respect me, don't step on... Oh. I'm sorry. So what happens if I keep stepping on it? We have a common feeling... So the goopy leaves still has sensation, apparently. Hmm, interesting. Okay. There are latex beasts in it. Are you want are you sure you want to go in? Yes. I said yes, god damn it. And then there's the white puddings. I don't know what he did with the white ones. He just fucked them until they turned to liquid. Strange paintings. Please don't look at it. Please don't look at it. A mountain of books. A mountain of books. We have metabolic needs too, so do please don't eat my fruit. You shall get fruit by yourself if you want to eat. I don't want to upset him. The roots of the potted plants were in a pile of leaves. So these trees help feed anyone who's been assimilated into goop monsters. Learn, learn is, learning is a process. I wonder. Anything in here? Latex beasts in there too! I just gotta avoid that white one. Um, so will I get a chance to hug in his fluffy tail without being assimilated or something? Hmm. No, that wasn't translated, I guess. Just gonna, just gonna look over here. Pile of virology books? Not in the books. Painted with weird painting? Please don't look at that one either. Well, I guess we can- we just talk to him now. Hello. Good, I'm glad you didn't run away or throw anything at my face. As you can see, I'm so-called monster. Or I'm a so-called monster. A normal, nothing special monster who wants to be better. But in fact, I have no difference between those things that you see before you who want to transfer you. You better not fall on my body. The consequences are very serious. That means I can't cuddle up to him, what? Well, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Pearl. I'm one of the black latex monsters. If I have a gender, I think I should be male. I guess you are the one who locked... who... 
who was locked in that room. I'm not good at writing, but I hope those hints I wrote did help you to know your situation now. I write it on the paper and put it on the wall. So you're disappointed, right? Who led you here? And wait, you... And wait, the person here is not a human. However, humans are still an excellent species. You really made it. You came to the library by yourself. Sorry, this place is all messed up. I didn't clean it yet. It must be that power failure made your cabins open. At that moment, I think it is the only time that you could have come to me. I've never had a conversation with anyone because no one speaks here. Maybe I'm bad at expression, but I will try my best to answer your issue. It's a great honor to have a conversation with a real human. Yes, he really looks up to humans, in a way. I try to study here, probably for this moment. It's a great honor to talk with a higher life who created us. So he doesn't speak as a person who's potentially a human who turned into an animal, because... I would presume he had to have been a human, perhaps, in the past, or... Maybe he was the first sentient life that came that wasn't from a human transference, or transformation. What do you want to ask? Hmm... A talking monster? Incredible, right? I was as same as those dark creatures you saw outside, until one day I came to this library, and I started having interest in these books and the language you humans created. Then I started having a feeling about studying. After that, I kept studying and studying. But I'm the only one who has ever thought of learning. None of the others in my species has had the interest of studying. I surprised myself that I can talk. However, to study these is super hard for me, but I want to improve. Human language, their culture, and their world fascinated me so hard. Let's say it fascinated me so much. It would be awesome if I, if I could become a human? At least I won't have to watch things through movement capture. It's such a challenge for me to read now. About studying. It is super boring, but also it teaches me a lot of things. It's very hard to learn the letters, very hard. It's a miracle that I did. Uh, I want to thank these books because of them, I didn't hunt you down and transfer you without control. For being better and better, I need to study hard. For making me better than others, I need those books. I need these books. For to make my... To strengthen my species? Also to improve myself, and then I will go outside and see the truth of this world. Uh, about knowledge. Uh, scripts can make communication easier and also bring associations of other things. Humans can create scripts. This is very excellent. Sometimes I really want to be a human, not transfer them to one of us. Unfortunately, we can't choose our fate. The monsters who created from the Petri dishes have their own fate. We cannot change it. If it must go this way, so be it. I'm just a monster anyway. I will read more books. Haha. -ha. Become human. Humans have strong body, intelligent brain, immunity, blah 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 blah. You guys have everything. Just look at me. I, I got only one part that is hard. Other than that, all the other rest of me is soft and sticky and super weak. I really want to be a human. Humans are the best creatures I've ever seen. I'm so envious of you, human! It's okay, don't be nervous. I, I still have more questions. Do you want to be transferred? Don't mind, just kidding. What do you want to ask? Own business. It was a long, long time ago. I went upstairs and tried to find more information of this world. All the information I found said that there is still a human in the cabin. Then I found the room you're locked up. Then I write, I wrote all these clues as I can help you to lead you to me. If you don't have the location to go and just move around this building, you will tran be transferred by those latex monsters. My original plan is to be... Wait, my original plan is to be parasitic. Or... My original plan was to transfer the last human. But I will be better and stronger. You should be kidnapped... Wait, what? Wait. Okay, you should... I'm trying to, like, translate this into a better way of speaking here. Even though what I said just maybe didn't make sense. Since you were kidnapped here, this is a good thing, because you passed the plague... The outbreak of the plague outside and survived, let's say. I don't know if you're lucky or unlucky, but I, now I'm sure you're the only human in this building. I never get out of this place yet, so I'm not sure about the situation outside. Where are those humans? Where do those humans go? You have to prepare for the worst. Me too. You are so weak and thin, I don't have any interest in you for now, so you don't need to worry. Well, what do you mean no interest because I'm skinny? Hmm. 
about kidnap? I'm not sure of the meaning word kidnap, but I think you are not volunteering to be a tester. Maybe they kidnapped you because your body is special. You sleep, you slept for a long time and only have been in that, you were in that machine to keep you alive. I'm sorry about this. Hmm, hmm. about flag. Of what I know about this virus is an ancient virus frozen in the South Pole. But because humans break the environment so much, it made the virus escape. The virus spread from the ocean and went into the river and then to the land and it spread everywhere. This virus can't hurt any creatures but humans. When humans touch it or eat any animals that the virus has on, the human will be infected. This virus can hide itself very well. When humans noted the virus, it already had reached 60% of the humans on the planet and infected... When humans first noticed it, 60% of the humans were already infected by the virus. Then the outbreak happened, and you woke up. Let's see, interesting knowledge. Alright, it proved to me. This is a hard question. I never thought about the things like this. It's so boring that there isn't anyone to talk to me. It is horrible that no one can understand what I said. Before I was planning to lead you here and transfer you, but now I changed my idea. I will watch you for now. However, I'm very boring myself. Just let me be with you. Maybe I can help you for something. To study humans must be an interesting thing to do. Oh. He wants to watch me, huh? About expand. My species are new to this world. If we don't improve ourselves, then it'll be hard for us to survive after we go outside. But for sure, we can do better than those latex monsters out there. I tried to let my friends read some books, but they just eat it. It's been so long... It's been a long story now. What? It's, it's been a long time since I learned any of these things, even though I'm still happy that I'm the first one. Also, this is why I, I called myself Pearl. Hmm, about... Outside? There's so many things I could ask. About late, latex. They're those outside the door. Their color is white. They're really different than us. You just attract one of them, don't you remember? Those light latex have a lot of... A lot of place that is better than us. So envious. I was just trying to say there's more in the building, like, what, the light latex are the white ones, and he's saying they have better rooms, apparently? I need to be better, better than them. Apparently the blacks... The, the black latex and the white latex monsters have a small rivalry, I guess? Oh jeez, there's so much to ask! This, this whole video is just gonna be me learning everything about Pearl and everything Pearl has to say. About evolution, I think you already saw those beautiful crystals on your way that you came here. Um, when our lives are at our end, our body will disappear, only our head, this white mask, is still there. After a mask falls to the ground, it will create a crystal, which you saw on the way here. Crystals will break, and when it's... it'll break at the best time, we use this to breed. Sometimes there will be one or two special ones showing up in our community, I am one of them. Those who can fly and the big guy are the ones who have been evolved. The normal ones like me, we are created from wolves DNA. Oh. Created directly by wolves. So it's not that he's a human, he just said there he was a a subject of, like say, being a petri dish and have it so the latex chemical with wolf DNA. And that's why he looks like a wolf. Oh there's three more questions, my word. Parasite mate. Mmm. I never saw the human that was in the locked room before. I don't know how what he looks like, but you're really weak and your athletic abilities are so bad. Even escaping from that big... Big tail is pretty hard for you with a big tail. Escaping from the big tail? Big tail? He's talking about the big dragon or something else? I don't know. Before I was planning to lead you here to transfer you, to tell you the truth, I'm really disappointed when I saw my host, which is you. Look at you, you're thin and weak. It's a miracle that you passed all those difficulties and came here. After we parasite on our host, then we will be mixed together so we only have one chance in our lives. I tried all I can to leave my parasite for the best guy. So wait, then what happens when they spread their parasite to the other one? They're trying to say, like, it moves the host, like... If he were to touch me and transfer me, it's him transferring himself to a new host rather than him cloning himself, then... Hmm. And he wants a better host, or a better body, than what he has now, and they need humans to do that. Interesting to think about what kind of... I don't know, that's kind of interesting, I guess. 
learning more about the chemicals and viruses and shit. Alright, I'm just going to leave the episode really abruptly here. I do apologize for the sudden cutoff, but Piro is talking so much. There is so much to learn, and I did an hour of recording. So I'm just going to stop abruptly here and upload a double episode and just upload it simultaneously. So I hope you enjoy all of the information and me trying to translate the poor English translation into, you know, pronouncing it in a way that makes much better sense, if you know what I mean. So let's just end it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next time, which is just like literally, it, it both will be released at the same time or at like five minutes apart from each other. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and look forward to more information that Perro has to tell us about the universe of this game and everything else. So, oh.